all right so this is vikas today uh, in this tutorial we would uh, check how to launch jupyter notebook uh, and in the previous video i have already uh, shown you how to install that uh, meanwhile i'll just open one uh, uh, quick documents over here and uh, the same thing it is uh, mentioned in that previous video also so uh, in this one what you have to do you have to go through this uh, URL and uh, I have opened this URL also which is anaconda.com slash products slash individual okay once you go through this uh, URL and uh, depending on the time earlier uh, it was already available inside this anaconda.com itself but later on it is uh, comes under this products and individual so uh, depending on the time it might change but definitely it would be available inside the uh, root URL that is called anaconda.com okay because Jupyter notebook is inbuilt inside this anaconda and anaconda has lots of uh, uh, like uh, uh, IDs are available like Jupyter notebook Jupyter lab and all we'll see that also so once we want to install that we have if our system is Windows we can go through this Windows if our system has a operating system of Mac OS you can use this or if you have Linux you can use this so for Windows we have uh, Python 3.7 and I would also recommend everyone that please go ahead with Python 3.7 which is the updated one and depending again depending on the time it might go for 3.8 or 3.9 so it would be available so always go for the advanced one itself okay and uh, here also it is mentioned it is 64 bit graphical installer and this is 32 bit graphical installer so depending on your system requirement uh, sorry uh, depending on your uh, system uh, bit place so if your system is 64 bit you can uh, install the 64 bit graphical installer which has a size of 466 MB and uh, if your system has 32 bit graphical installer you can go for this 32 bit graphical installer 423 MB so my system is 64 bit graphical uh, uh, which has a 64 bit system uh, of the uh, Windows operating system 10 so basically I have Windows 10 and uh, my system 64 bit so I'm going to install this and uh, it is already installed so in today's session we are going to check how to launch the Jupyter notebook so if my anaconda is already installed so what I ca can do I can just come for this uh, bottom left corner and I'll just type anaconda once you type anaconda if it is properly installed and for the proper installation I already made one video and that video would be also available inside this uh, URL in the uh, details so you can go through that and it has mentioned a few steps also because it is already installed in my system so I have gone through some instructions document I have taken the screenshot and I have pasted over there so once you type this anaconda you will be able to see this anaconda navigator app so you will say this anaconda navigator anaconda 3 app so once you click on this and I, I request all of you when you have uh, installed this anaconda for the very first time please restart your system because these are very heavy uh, software requirements so please restart and then again type in this search box bottom left corner once you type this anaconda you would be able to see that anaconda and uh, it would take a few minutes and you can see this it is initializing it will uh, pop up the black screen multiple times so don't worry about that it will take some time to launch that okay because this uh, we are going to invoke the complete anaconda and inside this anaconda we have one IDE that is called Jupyter Notebook so if we want we are invoking or if we are calling this anaconda so it will take some time to load that now you can see we have a few options are available like we have R Studio, we have orange 3 in Gluevis and all but we uh, we need this Jupyter Notebook uh, so see here Jupyter Notebook 6.0.3 version web based interactive computing notebook environment edit and run human readable docs while describing the data analysis so we are looking for this and few uh, persons are also going for this Jupyter lab it is similar to Jupyter Notebook itself but we are going to launch the Jupyter Notebook so once we click on this Jupyter uh, notebook launch button 
because see this is the one tiles and inside this one tile we have a launch so once we have clicked this launch some kind of process you can see over here it is running and it will take another a couple of minutes and once it is done it would be loaded inside our browser so my default browser is uh, Google Chrome so it is launched in this now if you want to make this programming file inside any folders because this is launched inside my user tab so by default it would be launched inside user tab if we we are trying to launch from this search bar we are f searching like uh, anaconda and once we write this so the available search is available which is anaconda navigator and uh, once we click this so this window would appear this window would appear then we have to click on this launch button once we have launched it would be launched inside our default browser now uh, if you want to create a fresh file what you can do you can just click on this new and python 3 so python 3 is nothing but python 3.x version and we have already seen that we have python 3.7 okay so by default it is python 3.7 once i click on this python 3 this code chunks comes okay now here if you want to execute anything what you have to write for example we have 2 plus 2 okay so if we want to execute what we have to do we have to type shift and enter button together we have to type shift and enter button together okay I'll just keep this and this hash sign means it would consider this line as a comment comment in the sense they won't consider this line as a python file or executable code so i just wanted to execute 2 plus 2 so what i'll do i have to use shift and enter button once i do that now see it shows this result now here i would like to tell you one thing because this is a beginning so here i'll write tutorial 2 because if i want to let's say uh, here it shows untitled 11 so if I want to rename this uh, Jupyter notebook file so what I can do I can just write tutorial 2 and click on rename so once I do that name is created it is renamed as a tutorial 2 now here uh, because this is a very beginning so I would request you to use this as of now import OS once you write this import OS means we are telling to import the operating system then OS dot get CWD so this OS dot get CWD would give you the current working directory means this Jupyter notebook is available in which directory we want to find it out so that's the reason we have given this import OS OS dot get CWD if you write some comment because programmer usually amuse once they get the documented thing find the current working directory so here find the current working directory if you we'll check what you have to do you have to write import os and then os dot get cwd once you execute this see here it shows c user and Haryom. so there is one drive called c and then another one uh, folder is users and there inside Haryom. so this uh, tutorial 2 is available over there in this case if you want to locate this you can just go to that uh, c drive this is my c drive then we have to go for users this is users folder and then username is Haryom and then here we can check this tutorial 2 so see here this is this has an extension of tutorial 2 dot extension of IPY and B file so once you make any kind of uh, Jupyter notebook file it would be available in the form of dot IPY and B and you won't be able to open this if you want to access this then again you have to open this Jupyter notebook so this is the one way you can do that now let's discuss about the second way if you want to launch the Jupyter notebook in different way and uh, the easiest way so what you can do we can go for any folder specific folder for example I am 
already uh, in this folder and that is uh, F drive 2020 and YouTube so this is one specific folder called YouTube which is inside 2020 and which is inside F drive so if you want to launch this uh, Jupyter notebook so using this uh, URL also you can launch but here uh, you have to make sure that while installation you have done this because if you have done the installation you would be able to know that like uh, there is one option during the installation you got advanced installation option and there one thing is called add anaconda to my path environment variable so once you have ticked mark once you have uh, marked this and then you have to go for the installation then you would be able to access using this uh, method also so if i want to launch the jupyter notebook what i can do i can just write jupyter notebook so just you have to write here jupyter notebook okay j i'll just write okay now see this it is launched and where it is launched now again i'll go to this new python 3 So once we go for new python 3 in this newly launched which using this uh, place i first what i did i have uh, went inside one specific folder and in this search bar i have just typed jupyter notebook so after doing this this is done now i have gone through this uh, jupyter notebook and if i write 2 plus 2 and uh, if i want to execute this 2 plus 2 what we have to do we have to write shift and enter button together once i do that it shows this result but again if we want to check the current working directory so how to do that we can just write import os and os dot get cwd once we do that see here it shows there is f drive inside there is one folder called 2020 and there another one folder called youtube so if i'll check and what i'll do i'll just rename this i'll rename this as a tutorial 2.1 once I do that and again if I'll go to this YouTube you can see here there is one IPYNV fi file created the extension of IPYNV file has been created which uh, and name is tutorial 2.1 so this way also you can create here uh, in this way you can access only if during the installation you have tick mark on this add anaconda to my path environment variables so while setup it would ask advanced installation option and uh, you have to tick mark both thing that last one that is register anaconda as my default python 3.6 it would be tick mark but this one won't be tick mark so what you have to do you have to tick mark this and then you have to press on the install okay so this is already explained in the previous video Now uh, there is one thing, uh, the second method which I have explained to you using uh, uh, just writing the Jupyter notebook uh, in any of the folder like uh, here I have just write what J-U-P-T-E-R Jupyter and notebook. So here make sure that you should not you know uh, misspell any of the words once you write this and once you press the enter button automatically some black screen would appear and it will launch the Jupyter notebook itself. So depending on your requirement you can use this but if you use uh, the first method so here you have to launch the complete anaconda navigator and it will take lots of ram size but uh, if you use the folder method and you'll just type the jupyter notebook so automatically the jupyter notebook would be invoked and it would be open and your file would be also located in this uh, specific location only but uh, if you have used the first method where you are invocating this uh, uh, anaconda navigator means you have to first open the anaconda navigator thereafter you have to use uh, uh, like find the jupyter notebook then you have to click on the launch button then it would be accessed but the file which you wanted to put it would be available inside this uh, the user folder let's see it is available over here so again if i want to access what i can do i can just either copy or cut from this location and I can put in my desired location wherever you want to keep so the second I would prefer the second method itself thank you so much